Albuquerque woman can now move forward with her civil rights lawsuit against state police nearly seven years after she fled gunshots fired by officers. The U.S. Supreme Court has ruled the excessive force claims against police in her case stand, even though she got away. News 13's Jackie Kent is here to explain. The attorney for Roxanne Torres is calling this decision a victory for the Constitution and says police never should have made Torres a target. Hopefully uh, this will protect all of us in the future uh, from uh, this type of uh, reprehensible conduct. This was a very peaceful woman. She didn't deserve to be shot in the back. In July 2014, court documents st say state police approached Torres while she was standing near a vehicle at an apartment complex off I-25 in San Mateo. The officers had been trying to serve a warrant to another woman. Torres claims she didn't know the two in dark tactical gear were officers and thought they were trying to carjack her, so she got in the vehicle and sped away, allegedly driving toward a female officer. Torres's attorney says two state police officers fired 13 shots at the vehicle, two of which hit Torres in the back as she drove away. She then crashed near Jefferson and Ellison, reportedly stole a car there, then drove 75 miles to a Grant's hospital where she was treated, then flown back to Albuquerque and arrested. She later sued state police seeking damages and claiming excessive force in violation of her Fourth Amendment rights, which bar unreasonable search and seizure. But the U.S. District Court said the shooting was not a seizure and negates an excessive force claim because Torres fled, and the Tenth Circuit upheld that decision. But in October, the U.S. Supreme Court heard this case and today overruled the Tenth Circuit. The Supreme Court ruled that uh, looking back, into the history of the Fourth Amendment that a mere touching is enough for a uh, seizure to take place. That's a clear indication. After the shooting, then the State Police out. Chief Pete Cassettis wouldn't comment on the incident, but said in summary that Torres vehicle put police in danger when she fled because one of his officers was in the direct path of the vehicle. Today we asked State Police for a response to the Supreme Court's decision and the lawsuit being reinstated. We have not heard back. Back to you. All right, Jackie, thank you. Torres pleaded no contest to charges of fleeing police, assaulting a police officer and stealing a car. Albuquerque police are searching for a man accused of brutally raping a woman. An arrest warrant filed last month says Angelo Charlie went walking with the woman near Manolan University.